Ah, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Saints alive. My heart's Listen beating good. like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Come on. This is it. Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I have to say, the <laughs> touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with. The bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! You've angered her. Now we have no choice. likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir... Here we are. Don't look a very friendly bunch, do they? Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it! Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! Quiet! They killed the stars! Just keep your head down! Whatever you do, please don't leave me in here!
I've had about enough of field work for today. Time to return home, sir. Right. Let's go now while we got the chance. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's get back to Blackwater. Come on, come on! Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> 